The committee has first-hand testimony now that he was sitting in the dining room next to the Oval Office watching the attack on television uh, as, as the assault on the Capitol occurred. Uh, we know, uh, as you, you know well, uh, that the briefing room at the White House is just a mere few steps from the Oval Office. The President could have at any moment walked those very few steps into the briefing room, gone on live television, and told his supporters who were assaulting the Capitol to stop. He could have told them to stand down. He could have told them to go home. Uh, and he failed to do so. Uh, it's hard to imagine a more significant, a more serious dereliction of duty uh, than that. Is his failure to make that statement criminal negligence? You know, uh, I think that, that there are a number of, as the chairman said, uh, potential criminal statutes uh, at issue here. Uh, but I think that, that there's absolutely no question that it was a dereliction of duty. Uh, and, and I think one of the things the committee needs to look at as we're looking at a legislative purpose is whether we need enhanced penalties for that kind of dereliction of duty. Uh, but, but I think it's also important for the American people to understand how dangerous Donald Trump was. Uh, we know as he was sitting there in the dining room next to the Oval Office, uh, members of his staff were pleading with him to go on television to tell people to stop. We know Leader McCarthy uh, was pleading with him to do that. We know members of his family. We know his daughter. We have firsthand testimony uh, that his daughter Ivanka uh, went in at least twice uh, to ask him to please stop this violence. Uh, any man who would not do so, any man who would provoke a violent assault on the Capitol to stop the counting of electoral votes, any man who would watch television as police officers were being beaten, uh, as, as his supporters were invading the capital of the United States, is clearly unfit for future office, uh, clearly can never be anywhere near the Oval Office uh, ever again. Hillary Clinton said a couple of weeks ago that if he runs and wins, that could be the end of our democracy. Do you share that fear? I do. Uh, I think it is critically important, given everything we know about the lines that he was willing to cross. He crossed lines no American president has ever crossed before. 